and I'm making um, I want I guess I'm gonna go into fiction here and make quail um, and rose sauce so here's the ingredients I have um, I prefer dried instead of the moist um, here's butter two tablespoons in the recipe I re prefer um, almonds and I have anise not to confuse with star anise which is two different spices with two different flavors um, since I don't have pitaya I go to the next relative one which would be the tunas cactus fruit and um, <clears throat> mainly if because I was saying I seen online a lot of people pick so many weird stuff for this re re substitute that I'm like really would you why would you pick guayaba or some other weird fruit I'm saying but second I was second choice would be um, tunas pitayas are pretty big so that's why I have two of them you know it's usually a nice ball you know of fruit which is very moist has very tiny seeds that you can eat these ones don't so I'm gonna have to take out the seeds out of that honey um, I would never have garlic I only have like the preserved one which is fine um, cornstarch um, to make it it's a thickening agent a lot of people like to use wheat or I mean not flour, I mean wheat flour I prefer cornstarch you know and since I don't have rose oil I thought I should use my my root jelly instead so just to give a nice I guess nice flavor to it so I actually got quails unlike other people who got Cornish hens and stuff like that so you can see these are actually quails from how small they are I washed them so you can see they still have blood in them and trust me I have washed them a lot like I wasn't surprised how much blood they had so it took a while I thought I cleared it, but based on what I'm seeing, already spilling, that they're still bleed bleeding. Anyway, I'm going to start it. Okay, so right now I just um, buttered the quails, along with adding um, Himalayan salt and grind up nice pepper. Usually it's better to have grind up your own pepper, other than just having that already cut up one, since the freshness of the smell is a lot better so I'm gonna put it in the oven I've already preheated it if we're going based on old school stove ovens well the wooden oven or the old school ovens um, that they used to have I'm assuming they, the temperature went as up as 350 um, based on you know the consistent temperature even though traditionally they never were consistent on temperature so um, I'm gonna do that just right now so I'm still grinding this stuff. It's the rose petals with the anise. As you can tell, it still needs more time to grind. So it's taking a while. It's always a very patient game, which I do like because it works your arms out. <laughs> you can see I finally put some almonds in there. I'm still grinding it, so it's taking a while. Now, with the minced garlic, I put it in butter. As you can see, the little white stuff around there. And it's browning the garlic. So I added the cactus fruit. You can see that it's turned a little red. Um, so if you don't have pitaya, always make sure you get, you know, if you don't have it, at least get red um, prickly pears. If not, get, um, I would say watermelon would be a good substitute. Um, since I was a little lazy, I didn't smash it because pitaya, the seeds are so small, you can use a little hit and then you'll be fine. But because this is um, um, a prickly pear, um, a tuna, um, I just just mashed it into here, which is how... Um, so there'll be seeds inside there. I don't know if you can see the little bumps, but those are all seeds. <laughs> and I'm fine not swallowing seeds or swallowing seeds if I have to, but... I'm not that picky, so it should be a red, a reddish color when you're doing it right. Um, so yeah, pitaya, if not prickly pear, if not um, watermelon. I would say if you don't have any of those two options. So, so you can see it's nice and pretty. Because when I put everything in with the roses, it was a, I would say a brownish color. Once I put the 
Do not, it turn red like nothing. So this is how you know you did it right. So, and then also, even though the ingredients in the, like water for chocolate, don't say how much water, I usually, since if it's like my family recipes, the water is like a logical thing. Like, of course you can add water. So you put this much water in here. So, um, I don't know how much water that would be, but it looks more saucy than someone who goes literally by the instructions. So there's never been really, sadly, you just go by ear. You see something? The fruit, cactus fruit was red. Just by showing you the peel, right? Red peel. The inside's all red. See, my hands are getting pink from it. Um, so, you know, I'm not guessing, guys. Um, so, yeah, I may have to add another water and then put cornstarch in to make it nice and thick. Um, just like sauce. Add the sauce, you can see it's nice and thick after the putting this cornstarch. So since I don't have any um, um, rose oil, I do have rose jelly as you can see. So I'm going to put, I'm going to say a good amount because you don't want to overwhelm it. I would say it's about one teaspoon. Okay, that's pretty much all you need. It's the oil more the fragrance type thing, and I think with that much in it, it should be more than enough. Since once it gets all nice and thick like a sauce, then you turn off the heat, um, get the quills out, and you put them, well I prefer to put them in a the smaller one, but uh, they cook within the sauce a lot better, since the sauce is much smaller batch as you can see. Um, and usually you want to tie the legs. That's why they're all all spread out and crazy. But I mean I didn't do that part. And the last one. And now See, this is what happens if you don't put it in the sauce, it goes like that. So now that we're done with all that, now we put the sauce into chickens, or well, the quails. And that's it. And you just bake it for another 10 minutes and it should be done. Now I'm going to have them in a nice sauce. You can see they're ready to get baked. Now they're done. I wish there was a different lighting I can give you guys. Show how nice and red they are. It's very beautiful. Let me see. They're still hot. You can see the smoke is still on them. The nice reddish pinkish color, I would say. Neutral color. So there we go. If done right, it should look like this. As you can see, I have put some sauce on it. This should be extra sauce when you have the. If you've done it right, um, most people don't. Um, anyway, you just make you just pour it on top. It's gonna look like salsa, as you can see, and that's about it. Anyway, I guess I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Um, I'm willing to answer them. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I guess I hope you like this video. Take care, guys. Bye.